What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the New Age Lucifer C version or their version of a cartoon style Starscream. Now this is a little odd because typically the first version of any character they put out is the cartoon version. I guess they felt that this one needed an update so they put out this version. This actually came out more recently so I normally collect the EX versions, but I didn't like the EX version of this guy. It was just it had a swirly gray plastic on it. This one doesn't have a swirly gray. So I decided to pick this one up. So let's take a look at him. He's got some nice red paint up here, silver paint there, red and white stripe for the wing. I'm going to take that QC sticker off because it's an ugly location. But uh, you have gunmetal die cast back here. Blue paint, which we'll see more in the vehicle mode. Here's the bottom. You do get landing gear, they are a little bit hidden, so you just reach under here and grab, pull these out. They don't have actual wheels, and then this one is kind of wonky. It's in the middle instead of in the front, but you can sit down on those landing gear. That works. Overall, it's a pretty good looking jet. You got orange, translucent orange for the cockpit, and actually detail inside the cockpit. We also get a bunch of accessories, so we of course get the null rays, which we can plug in to the wings, or you can plug them here into the sides for that look, if you prefer. We also get these smaller, you know, shorter missiles, so if you want to display it like that, you can. Another option. And we also get the Megatron gun done in black and gray. Good looking gun. This will also plug in here under the wing if you want or into the side, whatever you prefer. Probably makes more sense underneath, but another option. We also get a display stand here. So this is a piece of the space bridge. You put them all together, they connect and make up the space bridge. I just have the one here, but take this out. We can plug this in right here. And then we can fold this up, fold this up, and then we can attach him on the end of this peg. Underneath here, you can see there's a hole right between the legs. And it'll plug in there. And now you can have this flight stand mode. That looks really nice. And even better, you can attach these blast effects. So these are for the boosters on the back. And it is plastic going into die cast, so just be careful with it. I try not to push them all the way in. But that's pretty cool. And on the front, we have these translucent and pink blast effects that will plug into the null rays. They don't fit on the shorter missiles, so just keep that in mind. You have to have the, the null rays on if you want to use these. And this will plug in. Just got to push it in securely. But yeah, that's a pretty cool display option. For a size comparison, there it is next to the New Age Optimus Prime. Fits in nice. And there he is next to the New Age Firefox, their version of Skyfire, Jetfire. And you can see Jetfire is a bigger jet, makes sense. It fits in. Really love this figure, but smaller jet makes sense for this uh, legend scale. All right, let's get him transformed into robot mode. Go ahead and remove these null rays. Close up the landing gear. While we're at it, we can open up these feet. Because that's blocking the landing gear. Um, these are really tight this time. So just use caution there. Close those up. We can separate the wing on both sides. And we can take the Side panels here, unpeg them from the side of the legs. That will loosen up the legs so we can disconnect those, open those up. These are pretty heavy with the die cast down here. Um, 
I noticed that they're a little bit floppy due to that weight. But open up this panel. We're going to fold this in. We're going to rotate this inner panel here around. And then as we do that, we can rotate the wing. That's going to come all the way around. This is also nice and tight. What's not tight is the hips, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, it is really tight. Okay, fold that all the way around. This will come, fold up the outer tip and then fold that down and then fold this down and this back. So it should end up looking like this. Close up the heel and then we'll do the same thing on this side. All right, now that we got both legs done, can take care of this uh, upper body. So for the arms, we can uh, let's see, pull these out and accordion them out on these hinges. So these are facing down like that. Close up the forearms and it's going to end up like this, but leave it out to the side for now. Just rotate the elbow to the front. Right, come to backpack here. Open up this little panel. We're going to swing this back. It'll allow you to rotate the head 180 degrees so it's ending up on this side. Bring this back around to this side. All right, so fold that out and get it to the other side. Same on this one. Push down on the bottom and then fold it out. This nose cone will fold up into here. So get that all the way around. And then this entire chest section is going to fold up and in. These two pegs will sit inside. You can see two slots on the inside. So get this folded into here. And then make sure that pegs in and locks in. You can bring these chest panels down, bring the arms back to their position. For the wings, we can fold these out, flip this around, close this panel back up. There's a peg and a slot right there, so peg that in. We can fold these back in. The wings will just accordion down and sit like that on the back. And he's not complete without his all rings here. So get these plugged into his arms. All right, and there is Lucifer in his robot mode. And I will admit, it does look good, but it does have some of the same issues as before. So I don't know. I'm not sure what they upgraded or changed on this one. I guess it does have some nice paint. Let's talk about that. So we got the... Gray paint on the face, metallic red for the eyes, dark gray for the helmet, red paint here, gray paint for the intakes, red paint for the waist or crotch. We have blue paint here on the front, blue paint for the feet, gunmetal here on the inside of the feet. I think the arms are painted, hard to tell, maybe not. Um, it does look good, it's just... Uh, some of the issues that I had before are still there. So let's talk about articulation since that's what the issue is. Head is on a ball joint. You get it way up all the way to there, which is nice. Rotation and a little bit of side to side. I mentioned before the wings can slide up and down. They don't go in and out like most star screams. Shoulder rotates around. Oops. And out to the side on that same ball joint. You have rotation here at the elbow. This can sometimes fold in, so just get that position properly. 90 degree bend at the elbow. You have a rotation on this joint. The fist can rotate as well. You have a waist rotation. Ab crunch at the legs. Now, I'm not sure why, why they worked in the ab crunch. Most new age figures don't have necessarily have or need an ab crunch. Because of the legs being die cast, it weighs this down. It can't really hold it. So I, I actually, in a strange turn, I would prefer that this didn't open up. 
because sometimes it, it moves when you don't want it to uh, but it is there hip skirt will go up the legs will kick up see it just did it now leg will kick up to there back to there up to the side but like I said it's a very heavy die cast so it doesn't necessarily hold it rotation of the thigh on a cut joint on a mushroom peg 90 degree bend at the knee and that knee's a little bit awkward ankle tilts out to there and toe tilt forward and backward as far as accessories we get the same stuff I showed you before you can still use uh, pretty much all of it if you have them on the stand you could get him you know blasting away with these you could use the blast effects here on the null rays so you can be firing and some Autobots you can give him the Megatron gun that'll just fit right into his hand so you can do that and we also get alternate hands if you want to use them, I'm not going to use them, but he gets a pointing hand since he's the fake leader. <laughs> and you get open jazz hands, expressive hands. So nice options there. You can swap out the head. So there's like a smirking face. Hopefully that's in focus. And it's on a ball joint. It's a little difficult to get the head off the ball joint, I'll be honest. And I'm afraid to break it. All right, here it is with the head removed. I definitely did have to remove that screw to take it apart. Otherwise, it was going to be very, very challenging to get this back on here. It's really, really tight. Uh, but now we can put this back together so you can just get this eyepiece on the ball joint. And then you can slide this forward onto it. And then you can put the screw back into the back of his head. And I will say it's a little it's a little tricky because it's so small. All right there he is with the smirking face. I do think it looks nice, but uh, just a little bit of an annoying process to change it out. And for your size comparisons, there it is next to the New Age Optimus Prime and the New Age TFCon exclusive Megatron. Thanks to Sam Scott Roberts for this gift uh, fits in nicely he's a little bit shorter than both of these guys which makes sense by the way this is the only convention exclusive new age figure that's ever been made so uh, I, I hope they do more it'd be cool if they did some like unique colors and stuff but there you go for comparison so final recommendations on the new age lucifer c version i like it i'll give it a four to five it's a good figure i i mean it's there aren't a lot of changes from the original, and that's kind of the thing that stood out to me. Now, I don't have one, so this is going to be my Starscream. But if you bought the original one, um, this one, I'm not sure, is worth upgrading to. It comes with basically the same stuff. I think it comes with an extra head, but basically the same accessories. It's not really improved in terms of the mold. It's about the same, same mold. Uh, some of the same things, like... I do wish the leg would hold. The hip joint is just a little bit too loose. So if you have it, I don't think it's worth upgrading. But if you don't have it, it's a really nice version of Starscream. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.